In about eight hours, actually, NASA will attempt to land a $3 billion rover on the surface of Mars. Today in the Bay's Bob Riddell. He's live for us outside of NASA Ames in Mountain View. And Bob, I know this is a nail biter for those engineers at Ames. Correct. Good morning to you, Marcus. That's because some of the researchers here at NASA Ames behind me in Mountain View worked on the Mars Perseverance rover that will attempt to land on the red surface at 1255 this afternoon in what NASA describes as seven minutes of terror. That's the time it takes for the $3 billion rover to complete its final descent onto the Martian surface. Flight controllers can only watch as the pre-programmed spacecraft uses a parachute to decelerate from 12,000 miles an hour and then have a rocket uh, steered sky crane lower the rover uh, onto the surface for the final distance. NASA Ames researchers developed the s sensors, harnessing, and electronics on the aero shell of the entry vehicle. That's their role. That's why they're so interested in this. Chabot Space and Science uh, astronomer in Oakland, Ben Burris, he says landing NASA's Perseverance rover on Mars will be challenging because scientists are aiming for the Jezero crater. A basin, but it's surrounded by highlands. So there's a there's more bad places to land. Uh, so they have to be more precise in where they set down this rover. NASA believes that if there ever was or still is life on Mars, they have a good shot of finding it in that ancient river basin. Unlike other Martian rovers, uh, this car-sized plutonium-powered Perseverance will deploy. Uh, one mini, uh, its own uh, miniature helicopter to fly over the surface. It will also collect core samples to be brought back to Earth during another mission 10 years from now. Now, there are a number of virtual landing watch parties, including one being put on by the Chabot Space and Science Center. That begins at noon today, about an hour before the actual landing. Reporting live here outside NASA Ames in Mountain View, Bob Riddell, today in the Bay. Yes, yeah, space exploration, always interesting. Bob, thank you.